everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Gabe and this is Gabe Loves Makeup and I'm so glad that you're here. Um, Happy New Year to you whenever you're watching this. Um, If you've already, if this is before or after or whenever, and you know, Happy New Year to you. Um, You know, I'm so glad that you're here at my channel and you know, come on in, pull up a chair, grab a glass of wine, a cup of something, a little snack, whatever it may be. Grab an eyeliner, some some eyeshadow and stuff because we're going to be doing a little bit of a smoky look for New Year's. Um, hopefully it will turn out easy and not too complicated. <laughs> so if you're interested in that and you want to see how to do this look, then stick around and let's do it together. So, um, I have a four, I've, of course, you know, I already have my foundation on, um, powder, concealer, all that good stuff, blush, whatever. Um, I'm going to be changing the lip up. It's just the lip oil right now. I just have that on right now. And we've done brows. Um, I did do an eye primer and set it with a powder. And I've also done black liner up underneath. I've done just the Maybelline Long Lasting Drama. I did it up underneath. And, um, up underneath my waterline on the top and in the inside of the waterline. Um, if you need to stop the video and do that, then go ahead and do so. Um, you can also do this with a brown or something a little bit lighter. You don't have to, or bronze or, you know, even more of a plum, whatever may work better for you. You do not have to use a black. I'm just doing a black because I want a very impactful look, um, but you can do whatever you want. So if you um, need to stop the video, you can stop and do that now. Um, but we are pretty much, um, I just wanted to get that set so it would be setting in my eyes a little bit because sometimes doing it on camera is a little difficult. Um, but so this is just what you can kind of see. It's just up under here. So I haven't smudged or done anything yet. We're just letting it dry down because this is the more of a longer wearing formula. So um, so we're ready to start. So let's get started. So we're going to take, um, I'm going to be using my most of my vanity, um, my vanity makeup. Uh, we're going to be using a lot of, a little bit more of this one today. Um, and I might be playing, I've got some other things pulled out. I don't know. I want to say what I'm going to be using yet because I really don't know yet. Um, so I don't really want to say that yet. I did put on a little bit. There's a little bit of um, my makeup. Maybelline Sky High Mascara. There's a little bit of that on. Um, so just kind of getting ba your basics started before we get this look started. So that way you just kind of know what to kind of go, go with and how to do. But we're going to take a little bit of the liner. Again, I'm going to go back over the top and we're going to add a little bit. Hopefully uh, you guys can see it on the camera. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're just going to run it across the top. And this is a very creamy kind of formula. Just kind of like that, just so it kind of looks through. You just have to make sure that you um, do it a little quickly because it does dry quick. I'm going to take a little bit of a smudger brush and my Morphe M421. And we're going to go across there and we're going to go ahead and start smudging that out a little bit. Um, just to kind of give a little bit of a base there. And we're going to kind of start working it over just a tad. And a little bit up into the crease. So if you can kind of see what we're kind of doing here, we're kind of taking this liner and we're really just making it look, see what I'm doing? See just the way it's looking. See, we're just smoking it out just with the brush. So, so far, it's just liner so far. So we're just going over that and just really bringing that out a little bit and just kind of start taking it up into the crease a little bit. Now don't go too far into the crease because we are going to add some colors in there to really sharpen that up, but just to kind of give like a little bit of a base. So pretty much it's just taking your liner and blending it down. Now you can do this liner and you can do the, just the, with this kind of a look with just and do another a topper and be done. And you don't have to worry about doing it anymore. So if you want a really super easy look, you can definitely do that. But we're just, um, I just wanted to really show you what you can kind of do with your liner. I'm going to take a little bit over what we've done already on the bottom. And I'm going to smudge that out just a little bit. Right through there. Just a little bit. And then we're going to add some depth to it a little bit later. But this is just kind of like what we're going with so far as so you can kind of see the difference. We just can kind of see what we're kind of look, working with. Okay. So now we're going to dip into, um, I'm going to dip into my, uh, here, we're going to start with this shade here. I'm going to take a little bit of that brown shade and we're going to go in and give like a really, just to kind of go in and just to really help to smoke out this top part. Now, again, you can do something like this, do a topper and call it a day. Um, it depends on how much smoke and how much work you want to put into it. If you don't want to go this far out and you don't want to do this, you don't have to. That is totally up to you and what you want. But see how pretty that is? It's just a really beautiful. This is a very beautiful, just muted 
like brown shade. So it's just, so it's not anything over the top. It's just like a very basic matte brown shade. Um, this, this compact, it's this um, eyeshadow palette was on my top eyeshadow palettes. I just love this palette. It's just so beautiful. It's such a beautiful grown up matte. When I say grown up, I mean it's not too shimmery. It's not too sparkly. It just gives like the right amount of shimmer, right amount of mattes. The mattes are creamy. They blend really well. There's no fuss work with them. I mean, they're just really super beautiful. The shade is a little bit more of a, it's got more of a cooler tone to it. So it's a little bit more cooler tone. We're gonna just take the same brush. And by the way, I'm using a 15 refer brush. We're just gonna go back in and we're gonna tip back into that. And I'm just gonna deepen this up. This is gonna cool this brown down a little bit because we're gonna go, we're doing more. Um, I'm not really sure. I've got like a really pretty blue and a silver, but I'm not really sure yet what we're gonna be adding to that. But we are gonna, um, we're gonna see in a little while. But I just wanted to, I want to cool that brown down just a little bit. See how that give it like a little coolness? We're just gonna cool that down a little bit here. And really take that there. It's so pretty. And here too. Now you could definitely do this before you do your uh, face makeup. Um, if you're a little scared that you might have fallout or whatever, definitely. Um, you could definitely do that if you wanted to. Um, so now I'm gonna take my refer brush in the number 02. We're gonna take it it's like a little bit more of a flat brush. And I'm gonna go a little bit into that um, first shade that we did that was a little brown, like a little bit more of a brownish. And we're gonna go up underneath and kind of just soften that out a little bit underneath. Just to smoke that out just a tad bit at the bottom, but to just make it look a little bit more softer. And then I'm gonna go into the cooler one and we're gonna go back right over top of that with the cooler, the cooler shade. It's so pretty, woo, we love that. Okay, so now we are ready for, I'm gonna start doing toppers because we're gonna be doing, I think, I'm, I'm not really sure exactly how many, but we're gonna be doing some toppers. So I'm gonna use my, um, this is the Oryx Smoke Reflex. Like a gunmetal looking color. So we're gonna be using a little bit of that. So I'm going to take the M124 brush and we're gonna be dipping into that a little bit. And I'm gonna take it and we're gonna start placing it right here on the lid and really focusing it more on just on the lid part. And we're gonna take it right up into what we just did, making sure that we blend it out good. But I have both of the, her colors and they're both really beautiful. She came out with some for holiday, but I didn't get those, but these are, they are really beautiful. And the topper is really beautiful too, but this is just so pretty. I'm gonna use a different topper though, I think. I'm gonna use different ones. I'm not gonna use the, the one that goes on top of this, although it's really gorgeous. But I'm going to use a different topper, probably. Use once in a while to get dressed up and kind of do something. So, what are you doing for New Year's? What are you where Where are you going out at? What are you doing? That would be interesting. You know, let me know in your comments down below if you're going to do anything fun or if you're just going to stay at home. I know a lot of people just kind of like chill out at home. Sometimes they don't really go out and want to do all that other stuff. It just depends. But I mean, but I know some people love to do it and love to socialize and go out and hang out. So, let me know down in the comments what you're going to do. So, with that said, we are going to go into, going to work with Mama Pat shade. This is in the, um, this is in the, uh, Celestial Divinity Lux Quad Instellular in in Icon. And we're going to be using this shade here. And I'm going to be using that same brush that we just did to pack that on. And we're going to pack right over top of the metal. And see, look at that, how gorgeous that is. Just going to pop that right over it blend it right over top of it. Well, that is stunning over that. Oh my God, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my God, that's stunning. Yes, Mama Pat, yes. Leave it to Pat to really do us amazing stuff. 
stunning like this. Oh my God, so beautiful. Oh, that is gorgeous. Wow. That is so pretty. Wow, see, just like it gave it, it took it to a whole nother level. Took it to a whole nother level. Now, of course, you don't have to use a blue or anything like that if you don't want. If you're, this is something that would intimidate you, you definitely don't have to do it. But, um, but I wanted to do it. I would definitely wanted to see what it looked like, and it is so pretty. I haven't got to use this compact very much, and I just was thinking of this look, and I just thought it would be so pretty over top of it. Ooh, that is just so gorgeous. Okay. So now we're gonna go into one more shade and I'm gonna use a little bit of this one here. I'm gonna take it right over top of it. This is in the, um, this is in a vanity um, and it looks just a little bit more like this mocha, like it's like a little bit more of a brownish kind of a light toppy shade. We're gonna go over top of that same brush. We're just gonna take it and swipe it right over top of that to bring it out a little bit more. So pretty. Okay, so now I'm just gonna intensify this over just a little bit more. So we're gonna go back into that. I'm gonna take just a little bit more of this darker brown shade. I'm gonna take a little bit more of it um, to just to, to add a little bit more depth right here because I'm gonna just make it a little bit more dramatic because I just wanna pop it out more just to add a little bit more depth right here. So that way we're just really making sure that we get, it just pops it out a little bit more. One brush and we're gonna go in with the this more lighter, it's like a bone shade. So I went back over and I added just a little bit more dark here and just brought it out just a little tad bit just to give a little bit more up to it. And now I want to do one more layer of this patch shadow. So I'm gonna go back in here one more time. I'm gonna add just a little bit more of that patch shadow right there. How pretty is that? That is so pretty. Oh, I love it. Okay, so. So now that we've got that done, so now we're going to do just a tad bit of black. And I'm going to go with just a little bit of like a my Huda Beauty liner, and my liquid liner, my light. I'm going to go just a little bit across the top of the lash line, just a little bit, just to add a little bit of depth there. And I'm kind of going to lie across the top of the lash line. just to really make it set out. I don't wanna make it too thick, but definitely want it to be more, and I'm gonna kinda of connect it with this right there, like that. I see I made a little bit of a boo-boo, but I can go back over it with just a little bit of this and just kind of correct it. Just a little bit. Just take a little bit of your shimmer on the back of your brush and just go across the edge of it and it'll just make it look real smooth. Just like that. So it just gives it like that smooth edge to it. Hey guys, it's not really a wing liner. I haven't really done a wing. Um, it's, you can do a wing if you wanted to. I just kind of connected them in so the liner went from here to here. And then when I did that, it just kind of went in. So it just kind of like lined it out a little bit. But it's not a, it's not a complete wing. It just kind of look may look kind of like it is. But I guess you could say it's kind of almost like a backwards, a little bit more of not a, not a complete backwards um, lick, uh, cat eye but a reverse cat eye. But it's kind of similar, like that little bit of an idea.
little bit before I do how well let's do let's do let's do mascara real quick. I'm gonna add a little bit of my Armani um mascara. We're gonna add a little bit of that before we do our lashes. We've got some mist to clean up, but that's fine. I'm, I haven't cleaned up underneath yet, but this is a little bit what we're going. I'm gonna take a little bit of my work. I, want, I do wanna do a little bit of the topper. I'm gonna take just a little bit more over top of the pat, just to add a little something more there. Just right in the center, right over that, just to add a little something more of this silver. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and we're going to clean up and do lashes and I will be right back. Okay, everyone, so what do you think of the finished look? So I put some lashes on. We added just a little bit of inner corner highlight with a little bit of the blue and um, I just added a little bit in the inner corner, cleaned up underneath. Um, and I added a little bit of really, it was a little bit more of a goldish shade in one of the, in the still, or I just kind of added a little bit right there on the top of the brow. And then of course, you know, we just kind of touched up everything else. And then the lip is actually a, um, it's actually a Revlon lipstick. It's actually one of these, I don't have it in front of me. I pulled it out, so I don't have it, but, um, I did, um, just a long comb bronzel around the edges and kitten, uh, Kristen Audet in the center. And then I, I forgot the name of it, I mean, you know, it's like, you know, it's really a beautiful color it's just like a very sheer lipstick but what do you guys think it turned out so pretty so I mean so I hope you guys like this hope you like the eye look um hope you enjoyed everything like a little mini thing that I'm doing for you guys for the new year so make sure to stay out and look out for that so um anyway you know I do wish you guys a very very happy new year and hope your year is going to be fantastic this year I hope all of our years are going to be better this year I hope so anyway remember be safe be strong be proud stand tall love yourself and remember to um you know reach out to someone today and tell them that you love them because you know life is way too short and you know a little kindness goes a long way so make sure to share some kindness as well and you know and we will see each other again in the next episode i love you guys and happy new year to you and see you soon